guys and welcome to Monument Valley. This is one of the most photogenic spots in this whole area. You may recognise these rock features and this very straight road. Oh, we've just managed to get some cool shots with the bus. Um, yeah, unfortunately we didn't uh, get up for sunrise this morning. It was a very clear sky so it wasn't particularly spectacular. You know, I woke up and looked out the window, I was like, no, I'm going to sleep more. But we have now driven to this location and uh, I think so have, uh, so have quite a few other people. Officially, the windiest conditions I've ever flown my drone. Like I think even windier than when I crashed in Cape Town. It was, it was fighting. It was like not getting anywhere. Managed to get it back though. nearby town to get some breakfast. So I'm just checking out the menu in this place. She can't do more than 40 in this wind because her oh, is ten. gonna break off. Oh no. How easy is it to take off? Should we put it in here? Well, I just asked and she said it's a lot of work, but I don't think it is. It looks pretty easy. Um, okay, the local cafe didn't really have anything, so we're gonna head over to Burger King because they have at least have a veggie burger option. We've been chilling in the Burger King car park for a couple of hours. I've finished exporting and started uploading my vlog. It always feels good when I get this done, guys. It's hard and I miss days and I struggle with internet, but it's working good. Also, I'm watching Ben Brown back on YouTube. I'm just catching up. He's just released a update on why he quit vlogging and uh, that he started vlogging again. So he's on to season two, episode one and it's him and Nicole road tripping across Africa. You guys have to go and check it out. It's gonna be an incredible series. He's shooting a bunch of visual vibes and stuff as well. So I'll link Ben's channel below if you've forgotten it, but I'm sure you haven't. Um, yeah, hope you're doing well, Ben. JP's friend, Lindsay, has been joining us on this trip. She's gonna be convoying with us all the way back to LA. She's driving in this car and she did have a rooftop tent fitted, but on the drive, just this morning, it was so crazy windy that the, the tent was like, I don't know, gonna break off. So we ended up unclipping it and stashing it in the back here. So, she shouldn't have those. I think we're ready to roll now. Have a nice little rest. Nice little rest stop. You ready, you ready for a little driving shift? Yeah, if my nose doesn't just oh, yeah. painlessly start bleeding. <laughs> Dave just had a crazy nosebleed attack. I think it's all the dry air from the last week. We have made a plan for this afternoon. We are going to be heading to explore a slot canyon nearby. A lot of you may have heard of Antelope Canyon. It's like this incredible, like, orange, thin canyon that you can walk through, it's like beautiful colours, but it's also super touristy, so apparently if we go there, there'll be like lines of tourists waiting to take photos. JP did some research, found a similar canyon that's secret that we can hike to. So we're jumping in Lindsay's car and we're gonna try and find it. And hopefully we can get some good photos there. And we're gonna leave the bus here because it's a little bit hard to maneuver. We've arrived at this random location and hopefully we're gonna find the place we're supposed to be going to. Did you say it's an hour's hike? Uh, or like half an hour there? Yeah, I thought you hustle, yeah. Okay. We've still got plenty of daylight. It's so nice at the moment, the sun's setting super late. It's nice being down here as well, because it's not windy. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Okay, we're searching for some narrow parts of the canyon. We've just found this little branch heading into there, so we're gonna go and check it out. It looks super narrow though. This is the area, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the movie, 127 hours. It's about a guy who falls down one of these slot canyons and ends up having to chop his arm off to save himself. Pretty cool movie. Uh, this just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> it's getting super narrow. Yeah, okay, let's turn back. <laughs> guys, how freaky is this? In chalk, written there, death. I don't know if you can see that. There's an arrow pointing this way. Louis. Huh? Louis, there's a body. <laughs> this could be the beginning of like a horror story. It's like friends going for a hike. And then something happens, like someone breaks their leg and we're stuck out here and then, and then all the clowns, the killer clowns attack. I don't know what it is about this place, but I'm in just such a good mood. I think it's like the warmth and being out in nature and probably because we've been sitting in a vehicle for two days. But I just, I cannot wipe the smile off my face. If you're feeling a bit down, guys, and you haven't been out of the house for a while, I highly recommend it, especially if you live anywhere near this kind of place. Oh. Gosh, look at that. A car has fallen off the bridge. Holy shit. How did it get down there? <laughs> How did they get down here? Oh. oh, this is cool. Yeah, there's a ladder right there. Oh, that is scary. This is terrifying. This is mad. Okay, we've decided next time we're in this area or on a road trip across country, we're gonna come back to this exact location, probably earlier in the day to get better light, but it's, yeah, definitely worth another visit. It's so beautiful. And it's so nice that it's not like full of people. Which is why we're not telling you guys. Yeah, we're sorry guys, we're not gonna tell you this exact location. I'm telling. <laughs> for dinner. Just found a pizza place. This looks nice. We just realized this restaurant is inside an old boat. A paddle steamer. Check that out. Food is served. Check this pasta dish out. Oh, that looks tasty. So the owner of this place, Gary, has just invited us up to check out the upstairs of the boat, which is where he lives. He's a very interesting character. Oh wow, so many antiques. Wow. This is cool. And you just collected this stuff from all around the world? No, mostly uh, Germany, Austria, Hungary, uh, and France. I've got my Marine Corps sword over there. I was a captain in the Marine Corps. And uh, the you only time I- Oh right, sorry my The only yeah. time I ever used it was to cut my wedding cake. <laughs> uh, That's cool, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> well, I wore it in parades and all. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but I've never, you know. Yeah, yeah. No way. Nazi poker chips. Yep. That's incredible. Well, and that's a, a loop off a dagger there that has a swastika on it. And uh, that's very rare to find. Can I look at it? Yeah. So this cup is from 1907? Yes. From Germany? It's, um, I, or Austria, I'm not sure. But it uh, says 1907. Every time I filled it up, somebody would say, <laughs> no way, that is so cool. So that's just in the bottom. <laughs> that's so cool. That is actually amazing. Wow. So that's called a litho pain. So when did you get this? 
Oh, uh, probably in the 70s. Most of all this stuff I had, um, yeah, 70s or 80s. I've had, nice. and most of all of this stuff is 150 to 200 years old. Wow. We'll be back Guys, if you're ever, if you're ever in uh, near Page, come to this pizzeria place. What's the name of this place? Bye. Bye. What a character. Isn't he the most fascinating guy you've ever met? Literally the most fascinating person. Like, unbelievably fascinating. Like, just his collection of antiques alone, <laughs> and then his stories, <laughs> and the way he tells them. It's weird that I've missed her, and we've only been away for like, six hours. Oh, we're back home. Back home in the bus. We need to get Ready for some laptop club. Okay, we have found another remote location to park up for the night. We're all a little bit too tired to do some uh, nighttime photography, but maybe we'll find somewhere tomorrow night. Um, yeah, it's been another very fun day, and um, I'm not going to do. Uh, I'm not going to promise a sunrise mission like I did yesterday. <laughs> Realistically, I'm going to try and sleep as much as possible and rest up. Oh, sweet. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Um.